Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be creating a pop zombie. Starting with NYX Cosmetics Epic Ink Liner, I'm just going to map out where the regular pop art face is going to be. Then going in with the turquoise from the CC Beauty Palette, I'm going to map out where our mouth is going to be. Then going in with a fluffier brush, I'm going to put that turquoise all over my face except for my forehead. And just keep adding until you get the desired shade you want. Then going in with the white, I'm going to start drawing the teeth. Starting with a line down the middle and then drawing teeth above and below that line. It's really just a bunch of messy triangles. While that dries, I'm going to use the fuchsia to map out where the brain is going to be. And then using a little bit of a bigger brush, I'm just going to fill it in. Using that same brush and the fuchsia, I'm going to outline the teeth to kind of make it look like gums. Going back in with my NYX liner, I'm going to outline the teeth to kind of give it that cartoony look. Click on zombie apocalypse. to draw little lines at the base of the teeth to make them look a little bit more realistic. Then going in with the shade Black Magic from my Morphe Boss Mood Palette, I'm just going to shade around the teeth to give it more depth. Now working on that brain again, I'm going to take my Urban Decay Electric Palette in the shades Savage and Jilted just to give it a little bit more dimension. Then using that NYX liner again, I'm just going to draw squiggles all around the brain to kind of give it the brainy look. Then going in with the shade Urban, I'm just going to put that all over my eyelid. And going in with the NYX liner, I'm going to draw a thick line above the crease to give it that cartoonish look. Going in with the coral from the CC Beauty palette, I'm just going to draw some messy bumps along the brain to kind of make it look like it's dripping. Going back in with the turquoise, I'm just going to fill in the rest of my face on that side. Then going with the black from the CC Beauty Palette, I'm just going to fill in my brow. Taking my NYX liner again, I'm just going to draw the hollow of my nose. Ah. 
then I'm just going to outline the brain, the drips, and my mouth to give it that pop art comic look. Then going back in with Black Magic from the Morphe palette, I'm just going to shade around those black lines. I'm then going to use the shade Fringe from the Urban Decay Electric palette to give the face a little bit more depth. Going back in with the Fuchsia from the CC Beauty palette, I'm going to create a few wounds around my face. These are super easy to make because you can really make them any shape. I'm then going to shade them in with the Black Magic to give them a decaying look. And then outline them with the NYX liner. I'm then going to take the Coral from the CC Beauty palette and fill in my lips. Zombie apocalypse. Then using the NYX liner again, I'm going to outline my lips as well as put a little bit of lines throughout them. <laughs> Putting the little lines is going to give it that cartoonish look. Now moving on to the pop art side of my face, I'm going to use the NYX liner to draw a couple lines by my brow as well as outline my forehead. I'm then going to use the shade Slow Burn from the Electric Palette all over my lid. Then with the NYX liner, I'm just going to draw a wing. And going back in with the black from the CC Beauty palette, I'm just going to fill in my brow. Now for the fun part, I'm going to take a small brush in the white from the CC Beauty palette and just draw little dots all over this part of my face. Now that I have the dots everywhere, I'm going to go back in with the NYX liner and put that line above my crease just like I did with the other eye. Then to finish up, I'm just going to take the white from the CC Beauty palette and highlight different parts of the face. That is the pop zombie face and I will be right back with the finishing touches. I popped in some colored contacts, a purple wig, a little bit of mascara and then I decided to add some liquid latex to the wounds to give them a little bit of a more realistic look. Thank you all so much for watching. This is the perfect look for both Purim and Halloween. I'd love to see your recreations, so if you do them, tag me, and I will see you guys next time. Bye, guys.